I'm Chip Rome with your Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you're watching In the Know. Today with me is Ron Haggerty, and Ron is the chairperson for the Upcover River Rally that is going to be held here by in Yawk Park, where we're at, by the General Braddock's Fish Club, right? Yes, sir. Good to have you yes, here, sir. Ron. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. Now, this is the second year for this event. T yeah, as the, re the reboot, the second year. Yeah, right. this was a popular, popular event but in a city back in the 70s and 80s. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then it had a long break. And then uh, we brought it back. I know last year it was really popular. Uh, yeah, we did, we did really well yeah. last year. And it the was, pandemic uh, was still kind of going on with this. I believe it was one of the first this events. Is one of the at. first big events in our area. Yeah, yeah it went really well last yeah, year. So, so. And the key was the weather. Hey, we have good weather. Yeah, we have good. <laughs> fingers remember, crossed on the weather for I, this time. I think I got sunburnt down here yeah. the one day here. <laughs> yeah, it was it, hot. Was, it was good. Now, what are the dates for this year's event? Uh, June third, fourth, and fifth. So that's a uh, Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, and you have a lot going on, and we're going to hit on some of those things that are happening. Uh, some of the events that are happening. You just want to talk about some well, of them? We're doing very similar to what we did last year. And we, when we started last year, we kind of took over what they used to do back in the day that were popular events here. So the first night, we're just going to kick off, like, we'll start around 4 o'clock. Uh, we're open up. We'll have uh, local foods, local breweries, uh, local winery. Um, everything's, we're trying to do everything local. Okay. Um, we'll have some, some, you know, some of our people will be selling their goods over in the different areas of the tents as well. But we're going to open that up at four o'clock on Friday and we'll have two bands on Friday night, Abacus Jones and the Andy Davis band. Okay. Um, so we're, we're expecting a pretty big draw with the, you know, with, with the two bands that we have for that night as well. So that'll basically be it for Friday night other than us stocking a few fish into the river. Yeah. And there's a lot of food booths, a lot of food. We have a lot there. of food vendors. Yeah. A lot of local foods and, and a lot of really. Last year, the food vendors did really well, and we're very happy with the, with yeah. what you know what we did here. And York Park makes a great location. For it this. does, yeah, it does. And I know you made some improvements between. Now this supports the fish club and also the recreation board. Right? It does, yes, yes. And and you have reinvested money that was uh, earned last year in, into this park. Yes, we gave. Uh, well, we did a 50-50 split with the Connorsville Rec Board last year. And the, we asked the rec board then to turn around, and take some of that money, and help with some of the improvements in the park. Okay. Now they did apply for a grant, and they were able to redo the electric down here for our vendors, right. which was great. That is great. Yeah. They applied for a grant to fix the plumbing issues in the restrooms and get some get better water flow. Right. They're still working on that, so fingers crossed for that. And um, then with the rec board money that we helped raise. They, we requested that they help open up the, sh the shores here of the Yawk a little better and make it more open for fishing. Right. You know, we had, a, we had several hundred fisher, fishermen or fisher people down here last year. Um, <laughs> men or women, right? <laughs> yeah, men, women, <laughs> children. Yeah. Uh, we, had a, we had a lot of people in the park and the shores were full. So we opened this up. You could see they're here working today. Right. And we opened this bank up the whole way down through Colonel Crawford's cabin to make it more accessible to our anglers. That's good. Now, you mentioned what's happening Friday, uh, so what, what's going to happen Saturday? Saturday morning we'll start off, we're going to stock more fish in the morning, including um, some lunker trout and lunker uh, catfish. Okay. And we're going to, those will be tagged fish that people can get mon money for if they uh -huh. catch one of the tagged fish. Um, in all, I think we're going to put it in addition, probably 2,000 trout in, 1,600 to 2,000 trout, and then the lunkers on top of it. Okay. Now, those are trout that you raise, right? Those are trout that we raise. Now, the lunkers, we purchased those. Oh, we, okay. did, we did raise our own trout, all rainbows, browns, and goldens. Because you have a place in Pulskid. We do, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's wonderful. That's, yeah. that's a lot of work, too. It is. It is a lot of work, yeah. and it costs a lot of money. That's why we do this, right. to kind of help us offset the cost of what we do out there. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to start the kids, the children and adult fishing tournaments at 9 a.m. on Saturday. Okay. And that'll continue until 3 p.m. on Sunday. Okay. And um, open up with a, a, you know, a wider range of different things that we're going to give prizes through. As you register, people will be able to see what all we're giving prizes for. You said you tag the fish. What could someone win if they get a tag fish? I believe our tag fish are worth $50. Okay. So if you that's catch nice one of the tag yeah, fish nice. during, the, during the event, $50. After that, uh, you could still cash in on them if you're a fish club member. And uh, I think it's a twenty-five dollars after the after the day of the you know after the river rally. It's a twenty-five dollars through the rest of the year. Okay. Now what else has happened Saturday? Saturday's a busy day. Saturday's it? a busy day. Yeah. So we have the uh, like I said, we're going to start the fishing tournaments. Um, we do the anything that floats on Saturday, which that you was could fun last year. Make a boat. I have some. I brought a couple of the. Uh, some of them didn't float last year. I noticed the, some sunk. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the uh, anything that floats uh, that's not a boat. 
Right. So this will be the, you know, this you can make anything you want, any type of boat you want. It just can't be a boat, actually. Yes. So any type of household item that you could float Why in. Why don't they had uh, plastic bottles hooked together and yeah. all, all kinds of things? To yeah, make there's been boat. talk this year of a Yawk River rat. Um, I heard it was, might be a race car put in it or a shell of a race car. Okay. So what so time is this event? Th this event will be on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Okay. And, and Megan, Megan Ford is a sponsor of that? Megan Ford is one of the sponsors of that event, yes. And we'll do, uh, we're going to do first place for the race, and that, they'll put it up by the, the Crawford Avenue Bridge, uh -huh. and they'll race to the pier here, and there'll if be a finish it. line there if they make it. And then we'll, we'll also give prizes for most original design. Yeah. I was here for that last year. It was a lot of fun. It was, yeah. yeah it, it was, was a lot of fun it to was. see that. I think that's something that'll continue to grow through the years. With. Yeah, as they uh, get creative, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we also have uh, the Armstrong Tug of War. Oh, Armstrong! That's, now, a, that's a yeah. good name. <laughs> so, th so this event last year was uh, was it, we, it was the first year we did it, and we had a pretty good response last year. We did it again this year. We brought it back, so we're hoping again for another good response. We'll see what we get in the way of teams. You had some high school football teams in the last yeah, we year. Do, we do an open division for everybody, and then we also did a high school football team challenge okay. where some of our high school football teams went at it. And, um, you, you know, we we gave the the winning high school football team's program a donation from the from the orga, from our organization I for uh, three hundred dollars. Yeah. And well, that there was a crowd for that last year. We had a good crowd. Yeah, for it was, this it last was year. lined up there. People were enjoying that. So yeah, you, so you had to watch where you stood, though. You might end up kind of being in the competition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're hoping again that this takes off this year, and we right. do we do well with it this year. So that's on uh, Saturday at two o'clock. This is on Saturday at two o'clock. Okay, excellent. And then. Um, the, the overall ra river rally posters. There you go. Kind of gives like a little synopsis of everything. Right. But th those are the two main events that we have on Saturday. Yeah. And then Saturday night we have a band called the Cellar, Cellar Dwellers that will open up our music festivities. Cellar uh, Dwellers. The Cellar Dwellers. <laughs> and they will start at 5 and go till about 7 o'clock. Okay. And then the, about 8 o'clock the Clarks will stay, take the stage at about 8 o'clock that night. Okay. Uh, we're expecting a large turnout for the Clarks as they always have a, a large right. local Local group Lo always brings a group. The local singers from Connorsville. Yeah. I believe this is the third time in their existence that they've ever played in Connorsville as a full band. Wow. So cool. I think they're excited about it as we all are. Now you're making some improvements down here to, to stage too. Is that correct? Yeah, we're putting an addition on a stage. They started put the footers in yesterday. Okay. Tomorrow they're supposed to frame the stage and put they a. They didn't uh, all fit on there last year, right? No. They, well, they, they did. It was tight, but the Clarks, the full band, the Clarks, would not fit on there with all but their. This year equipment. they will. So we're putting addition off to the back of it, and there'll be addition to the right side of it to allow for larger larger bands to play on the stage. Okay. So then Sunday's the, the, the final day, the third day. What's happening on Sunday? Uh, on Sunday we have the uh, again the fishing tournaments will, will continue through the morning, um, and we have the children's jewel of the York children's pageant. Okay. So. Nice posters, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So in the pageant, we'll have a king. What we'll, we'll crown a king and a queen, mm -hmm. and their ages nine through twelve, and a prince and a princess, and their ages are five through eight. Okay, cool. Uh, this is being ran. Th this was sponsored by uh, attorney Mel Melinda Delarose came through as a nice sponsor for us on this, as well as uh, the Dairy Queen. Okay. And uh, the Connorsville girls or Connorsville area high school cheerleaders. Okay. So the cheerleaders are actually spearheading. They're going to run the event. They did that last year uh, too, they, right? They did run it last Wonderful. year. Wonderful. This year the cheerleaders are going to MC the event also. And uh, we, you know we'll have some judges, and uh, it's, it was really a nice, nice thing last year. The children all got something yeah. for participation, and uh, it was it was it was really a nice event last year. Well, it's nice how you pull different organizations in to help too, like yeah. like, like the cheerleaders, yes. and, and you know, just to get some different help. And you mentioned some sponsors. You have a lot of other sponsors too, and feel free to mention them. Yeah, so. our businesses, local businesses, have been great. Mm -hmm. Local businesses have truly stepped stepped up, and really almost everybody's donated to the Yawk River Alley to make. Make this a, a successful event. Um, you know, I can't say enough about them. Some of our, you know, our larger sponsors are on here as well. Uh -huh. um, but uh, you know, there, there's the community's definitely stepped up. That's and, right. and that's what it takes it to does. make this happen. Because I mean, you don't charge an admission. We we don't you, charge an admission. It yeah. costs a lot of money to put something like this yeah. on. I mean, those fish, what we have to put into those. Yeah. Uh, the children's fishing tournament. We try to give a prize to every kid that enters it. Yeah. So I mean, it's you know, we we, we definitely try to. 
everything goes back into it. And this is the main fundraiser for for the club, right? This is the main fundraiser for the club, yeah. yes. And I know the club has helped make improvements down here, too, like the visitor center that's here. and that's, it, it we, we're, we're a little bit instrumental in, in, yeah. in, in, with the idea of, how, of having the visitor center down here. We're yeah. also running a, a concession stand with a coffee shop that's going to open up in here. Okay. Hopefully this weekend it should be open up Yacht Coffee Company. It's every weekend it'll it be should, open? It should be open every day. Uh, oh, every, okay. Yeah, that's I think cool. he's going to be open every day through the mornings. Well, you got the bike trail goes right through here. Yeah, it's a great, great, great elevated location. passage. So, yeah. Now, you mentioned about you're going to have things that float, and but you're going to have a lot of things that float one we are, day. Yeah, on, on Sunday, the, we're also going to have the rubber duck race. And this is a, uh, we, we, have, we, we have 2,000 of these rubber ducks, and they're numbered from 1 to 2,000. And we're going to sell the ducks for $10 a piece, mm -hmm. and then we're going to do a 50-50 split on the duck race. Okay. So we sell all 2,000 ducks. We'll give $10,000 away on a duck race. Wow. So we're going to dump the ducks off of the Memorial Bridge here into the river. They'll float down to a point here at the, below the pier, and they'll be funneled into a, a funnel system. And when they come in there, the first three ducks will be what we pay out on, first, okay. second, and third place. So pay out first, second, and third. Yes. Okay, excellent. That's cool. Uh, 2,000 of those. I think you sold them all last year, if I remember right. right? We sold them all last year. Yeah, yeah without that. a problem. Yeah, that's, so we're, we're, what do you use to dump them in? I, there's some type of equipment we, we brought an excavator up with a large bucket and dumped them all in at one time. And that happens on Sunday? Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Sunday's a busy day, too. Sunday. Sunday's a busy day, yeah. yeah. And we'll cap off Sunday after the duck race with Wisdom, which is a, Jama a Jamaican reggae band. Okay. And they will play from 2 to 5 to finish off the events on Sunday. Good. Well, sounds like a busy weekend. Should be a busy yeah. weekend, yeah. Now, now the the club uh, just in recent years it just kind of restarted. Is that is that true? Yeah, about six years ago the club yeah. started again. It was uh, this used to be the York Fishermen's Association. That organization kind of went defunct as far as uh, stocking fish in the river here how we do. Uh -huh. About six years ago the club reformed as General Braddock's Fish Club. Uh, we've been raising uh, eight, approximately 8,000 trout a year wow. and putting them into the river here. I believe we put over 54,000 trout in the last six years in a quarter mile stretch of the river running through Connorsville. Mm -hmm. So it is a prime fishing river. It's, uh, you know, it's great that we continue to be able to do this. It is. And the fish this year were particularly large. They were a nice size fish yeah. this year. And you have a focus to, to keep kids interested in fishing too. Isn't that one of the yes. things that you do? That's the idea of the whole group. Yeah. Promote fishing, promote fishing in Connorsville. Try to get kids out of the house and get them down here with fishing poles instead of playing games in their own. Right, yeah, yeah, which is a good thing. It's a yeah. good thing. Fresh yeah. air is a good thing. That's right. We learned that the last couple of years. Yes. Well, lots of fresh air. Anything else, Ron? I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, we're just hoping a community comes out and supports it. Um, and we're hoping for good weather. And, uh, hope, you know, barring everything comes into place, I think we're going to have a great, another successful event. Yeah, I think you will, too. Thank yeah. you for your work. Appreciate Thank you. Appreciate what you do. Appreciate what the club does. So it's June 3rd through the 5th here at Yawk Park, the Yawk River Rally. So make sure you can now check it out. And now you're in the know.